Whenever people search for the cheapest countries to live, retire, or stay temporarily, places like Portugal, Spain, Croatia, Thailand, Turkey, Mexico, etc. always get mentioned as these countries are on top of every reputable list ranking the cheapest countries to live on a budget. However, there are many other underrated countries that are not lauded enough and are much cheaper to live in when compared to the obvious ones. So in this video, we've ranked 12 most underrated and cheapest countries to live in the world in accordance to their average cost of living. These countries might be on off the beaten path, but that doesn't mean that they're not livable. Plus, most of these countries are quite safe and boast some presence of an international community as well. Yet keep in mind, all of them come with their own immersive pros and cons, but in the end, it all depends upon one's tastes and preferences. What's more, to diversify this list even further, we've listed at least one country from every region of the world. Number 12. Taiwan When most people think about moving to East Asia, countries like Japan and South Korea are always on top of the list. However, Taiwan is also another viable candidate for anyone looking for a unique culture, delicious food, and well-developed infrastructure. It's certainly very underrated to live, but typically, Taiwan is not considered a cheap country. Nonetheless, with its median cost of living of $1,600, it's a lot cheaper than many other first world countries. Although technically it isn't recognized as an independent country by the United Nations and many others, all due to prickly political situation with China. But anyhow, it still operates as a sovereign state with a very high human development index. On top of this, the visa policies are very lenient offering all types of options, especially for digital nomads and students. It's also known for being one of the safest countries in East Asia, with an extremely low crime rate, but the only viable threat it faces is externally from China. Number 11. Georgia Located at the crossroads of Eastern Europe and Western Asia, Georgia has long been one of the most underrated countries to live in on a budget. However, in recent years, it's received a lot of prominence specifically from digital nomads and remote workers looking to stretch their monthly income. It hosts many amazing cities to choose from, like its capital and largest city, Tbilisi, a real gem, offering stunning architecture, modern amenities, and many outdoor activities, or its coastal city of Batumi, famous for its casinos, neon lights, and resorts. On the flip side, it's still a post-Soviet country, and despite recent investments, the infrastructure is still somewhat outdated and the overall quality of life is low. It's also pretty tricky finding a local job here, though it is one of the easiest to start a business based on the amount of business-friendly regulations and taxation. On top of this, the country has an extremely generous visa-free policy that allows more than 95 nationalities to enter the country without a visa and stay for up to one year. Number 10. Slovakia Tucked in the middle of Europe, it's no surprise that Slovakia gets much less attention than its more popular neighbors like Austria, Poland, and Czechia. Its capital, Bratislava, may be better known, but as a whole, the country is still little known outside of Europe. In terms of economy and development, Slovakia is doing exceptionally well, and when it comes to safety and environment, it's quite friendly and peaceful. The average cost of living is also lower at around $1,400, which can be a great draw for young digital nomads. In addition to all this, the country is extremely beautiful both naturally and architecturally. For those who appreciate compact communities, cobbled streets, fanciful castles, cathedrals, delightful old towns, with a blend of modern amenities, its city of Bratislava can be their best bet. While when venturing further than the capital, one can find the mountainous and sparsely populated outbacks full of natural wonders and hidden gems. Number 9. Chile Chile is one of the wealthiest as well as the least corrupt and one of the safest countries in South America, and yet it doesn't get as much traction as its counterparts like Argentina and Colombia. With its dramatic mountain ranges, luxurious lakes, and coastal beach access, it can offer its residents a wide range of lifestyle options. The ability to ski in the winter and live by the beach in the summer is a luxury that most countries cannot offer. For those wanting to maintain an urban lifestyle, its city of Santiago can be the main point of interest with its widely developed and advanced environment for expats. While to maintain an urban lifestyle in Chile, one should expect to spend around $1,400 a month to live comfortably. Aside from the living expenses, Chile is also pretty flexible in regards to visa and residence permits. There are residence permits for retirees and remote workers earning steady income from elsewhere. Number 8. Latvia Out of all the three Baltic states, namely Estonia and Lithuania, Latvia, despite being right in the center, is the least visited and explored. Yet, the small European country has plenty to offer with its wonderful nature, amazing cities, and extensive beaches. Aside from being underrated, it is the cheapest out of all the Baltic states, with the median cost of living well below $1,400. Although it's a rather small country with only around 1.8 million inhabitants, 
It's home to all the modern-day services and amenities with excellent standard and quality of life. Most of the foreign individuals moving to Latvia tend to reside in its capital of Riga, a vibrant metropolis home to various businesses, arts venues, and cultural attractions, making it an ideal place for young professionals seeking a vibrant and fast-paced lifestyle. Latvia also has one of the most lenient residence permit in Europe, which allows its holders to freely visit any other Shenzhen country since Latvia is part of both the EU and the Shenzhen area. Number 7. Mauritius In the past, Mauritius was one of the world's most overlooked islands. However, nowadays, it's under the radar of many digital nomads, expats, and retirees. But despite this, it's still proving to be a hard sell, as it doesn't attract as many people as it should. As a whole, the island's natural beauty is unparalleled, with white sandy beaches, crystal clear waters, and breathtaking mountain ranges. The year-round tropical climate ensures pleasant temperatures, allowing its inhabitants to enjoy outdoor activities and explore this paradise's natural wonders. Moreover, Mauritius is known for its safety and security, offering a peaceful environment that allows most newcomers to focus on their work without worry. In addition to all this, the visa requirements and legal considerations to be a digital nomad or retiree in Mauritius are straightforward and accessible for individuals from anywhere in the world. On the downside, the cost of living has risen a bit in recent years, as the country is experiencing a sudden surge of inflation. But even with the high rate of inflation, the average cost of living is still lower than its counterparts like the Seychelles and Maldives. Number 6. Dominica Not to be confused with the Dominican Republic, Dominica is one of the most unique yet very underrated Caribbean islands. And when most people think about moving to the Caribbean and the Lesser Antilles, the topmost choices are the island nations of the Dominican Republic, the Bahamas, or St. Lucia. However, Dominica displays its own unique charm and traits. Famed as the nature island of the Caribbean, it brims with hot springs, picturesque lakes, mountains, waterfalls, and black sand beaches which altogether never ceases to amaze its residents with its endless unspoiled natural beauty. Plus, language isn't an issue in this Caribbean island, as the official language is English, but Dominican Creole and French are also spoken. One of the major advantages of living in Dominica is the low cost of living. Housing and services are relatively cheap, while food is expensive due to a high rate of import. To top it all off, the country also offers a citizenship by investment program, which requires investment of at least $200,000 in real estate. Number 5. Cambodia Tourism in Cambodia is definitely on the rise, yet when it comes to living there, it isn't as enticing as Thailand, the Philippines, or Malaysia. Though it is still excellent for those looking for a temporary place to reside on a tight budget, its cities of Phnom Penh and Siem Reap are the main hub for most international communities and offer up all present amenities and many sites for entertainment, including a multitude of restaurants and cafes. The median cost of living is also very low, and a sole foreigner living in Cambodia could easily get by with around $800 to $1,000 per month. What's more, it boasts a vibrant nightlife and live music scene where locals and foreigners come together. However, most of its big cities come with some downsides, namely heavy congestion, frequent construction, and a lack of connectivity. On the contrary, it's fairly safe to reside in. Its simple lifestyle attracts digital nomads and remote workers seeking a slow pace of life. Number 4. Bosnia and Herzegovina Located in the Western Balkan Peninsula of Europe, Bosnia and Herzegovina boasts a blend of East and West, stemming from its Ottoman and Austro-Hungarian history. Unlike its famed bordering countries like Croatia and Montenegro, this country remains one of the most underrated to live in the entirety of Europe. And due to low human development index, high unemployment rate, and a very low standard of living, most of its own residents opt to move out. But even with all these drawbacks, it can still prove out to be a great and very cheap place to spend a season for most robot workers. In fact, in some of its main cities like Sarajevo or Mostar, most digital nomads easily reside under $800 a month. Moreover, the country is visa-free for most hailing from adjoining EU countries, and those hailing from North America do not need a visa for stays of up to 90 days. But be wary, if you're moving permanently, you will need a residence permit, which is very hard to acquire. Number 3. Sri Lanka Last year, Sri Lanka rambled into the global news for all the wrong reasons, as it experienced the biggest economic crisis and political unrest. But in spite of all that, the tourism and travel industry of the country hasn't been affected at all. And many foreign nationals, particularly from the Nordic and Oceania countries, continue to visit this island nation. The main factor for this continuous traction is the very low cost of living, warm climate, beautiful beaches, and of course, the most favorable currency exchange rates, especially from dollar. 
As of today, the median cost of living to live quite lavishly in any of its major areas is in the price bracket of $600 to $1,000 per month. Apart from living expenses, safety is an issue, but major violent crimes against foreigners are very rare, and most of the times, the biggest concerns are scams and street hustlers, which can be easily avoided if one is vigilant and steers clear from dubious areas. Number 2. Ecuador This country does receive a decent amount of international arrivals, but still it isn't as prevalent as nearby Colombia and Panama. As a whole, Ecuador has a lot to offer and is proving out to be an attractive place for retirees and those on a fixed income thanks to easy retirement visas and good medical care. Whatever one desires, small village life, coastal locations, big city conveniences, Ecuador has it all. Lush, green hills and fertile valleys are the norm. There are beaches that are warm but rarely muggy with no hurricanes or tropical storms. There are temperature climates in the Andes where most do not need a heating or cooling system. When it comes to safety, by large, the country is safe, but it is advised to take extra precautions in certain parts of big cities like Cuenca and Quito. Number 1. Tanzania Most people have never heard about this East African country, but Tanzania and specifically its island of Zanzibar are as underrated as it gets when it comes to living somewhere cheap. Mainland Tanzania is still a bit far-fetched as the crime rate is high, but the island of Zanzibar is like a country of its own with an international airport, very low crime rate, and friendly atmosphere towards foreigners. Besides, it's characterized by a unique cultural heritage, beautiful white sand beaches, tranquil forests, and world-famous stone town as its historical jewel. Furthermore, it's politically, socially, and economically stable, and many foreign nationals have started buying beachfront properties on the island. Moreover, the government also offers tax incentives to those who are opting to invest and start a business here. All things considered, it's slow but gradually gaining traction, but still, there's lots of works to be done in its infrastructural and services sector. 